What's up, dudes? I'm Ryan Wright. Yeah, and dudettes, I'm Jerry. Ghostbusters have returned, people. Yeah. The long-anticipated sequel that we thought we'd get all three characters back again. Rooted for that for years. Didn't happen. Four? Four? Well, no one really counts Ernie Hudson. Yeah, they do. People know Ernie Hudson's name. Who counts Ernie Hudson? A lot of people do. I always, like... And it's not because he's white. Ghostbusters, official trailer number one, rebooting it with a female cast. Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy yeah. from Bridesmaids. Leslie Jones. Director Paul Feig. Feige. Feig, I think. Kevin Feige. Yeah, Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige directed this. Kate, Kate McKinnon's in it. As I turn this speaker on, I have some concerns about this movie. Do you? Yeah, I mean, I love the original Ghost, but we'll, yeah, we'll talk more about it later. The original we'll talk more about it later. We'll talk more about it later. Why are you acting like that's an annoying thing? It, no, it's not. Like, th this movie is, is boggling people's minds in a way that to me is weird because nobody talks about this movie the same way they talk about any other movie. So, are you for it? Yeah. I love how when a movie has a lot of love, you express so much doubt. When a movie has doubt, you express nothing but love. Uh, it's not yeah. nothing but love. I mean, it's... Oh, okay. Like, okay. I don't absolutely love Bridesmaids. Jerry, let's just watch the trailer. You're taking forever talking about your nonsense. Thanks. Spider-Man. <laughs> Operation. It's okay. She seems peaceful. My name is Erin Gilbert, doctor of particle physics. Ah! That stuff went everywhere, by the way, in every crack. Very hard to wash off. We have dedicated our whole lives to studying the paranormal. Now there's okay. sightings all over the city. There are people out there that need our help. Holtzman, you're a brilliant engineer. Erin, ah! no one's better at quantum physics than you. We can provide a real science. service. Oh, look at that. I'm joining the club. You guys are really smart Ernie about Hudson. this science stuff, but I know New York. And I can borrow a car from my uncle. Uh, uh, you didn't disclose that the vehicle was going to be a hearse. It's a Cadillac! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. Okay. Someone is creating a device that hey. has paranormal activity. And we might be the only ones who can stop it. Holtzman, come on. The hat is too much, right? Is it the wig or the hat? Cool. All right. And there's a bigger picture at hand here. These ghosts can possess the human form. Ghost possessing the human form, right? Oh, hell no, the devil is a liar! Get out of my friend, ghost! Ow, that's gonna leave a mark! The power of pain compels you! I feel the exact same way I felt before watching this trailer. Really? <laughs> yeah, this didn't amplify any feelings or minimize anything. <laughs> the one cool thing that I got from it was I'm glad they're still making it a horror comedy. Yeah. You know, because yeah, Ghostbusters fun. 1 and 2 are horror comedies. When I heard the director they were getting, when I heard the cast, I was like, okay, that makes sense because Ghostbusters is really a comedy as well. Yeah. However, will it be scary and spooky at the same time? It's cool to see the visual effects are updated, but they're still honoring sort of the original designs of the ghosts. Yeah, yeah. You it know? has a certain, you know, uh, old-timey element. And it looks a little yeah. cartoony in a good way, like in a, in a fun way. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, Slimer is a cartoony-looking guy, and all the ghosts kind of have that. Even the humanoid ones sort of have a fantastical element yeah. to them. Yeah. And all the weapons and stuff look cool. Oh, yeah, and, and the I production feel, values look I great. I feel like the action scenes will be cool. I feel like they, they'll probably top 
top the original in terms of technicality. You know, yeah. it's like people always compare the Star Wars fights like, oh, the prequels are better. But to me, they're like way too hyper stylized. Yeah, there yeah. are too many effects. Good cast. It's a great cast. I like it's, all. I think all four of them are, just, real, are real funny. Ghostbusters is something so special to me, and I don't feel this looks special. Somebody pointed this out to me, and and I and I just because of what this movie is, and because of the controversy surrounding it, there's a lot of other Ghostbusters shit that's not very good that nobody complains about, except everyone's complaining about this. Well, like, when it comes to the movies, like, though, that's the thing that made Ghostbusters two forgivable was the cast because it's, still... it's still the same returning team that we love and this is a whole new set of characters and they don't look as appealing i don't agree with that entirely i get where you're going with this and it is true because it's like a halfway for me it's like i feel like you can do ghostbusters without the cast because you have the idea you have the world you have the machines you have all those ideas and you can theoretically plug other characters into that if you do it properly but I don't... it's not like i've used this example before it's not like point break or like, there's no point unless you have Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze and all that. But like this, I think it can work. And the only complaint I have about this trailer is the same complaint I have about every comedy trailer. It's just like, I have a hard time laughing at comedy trailers because it's all jokes with no context. So sometimes they'll look more annoying or more, you know, kind of too much improv. I gotta give it to them. The, the director and Melissa McCarthy have collabed on like four movies. They know how to put together some pretty strong films. Like their films are all... Pretty good for the most part. I, I'm not sure if this is their fourth one or fifth one. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Hey, people okay. loved, didn't he do there Spy? There was Bridesmaids, Spy, Bridesmaids the Spy. Heat. Their films are all pretty good for the most part. I, I'm not sure if this is their fourth one or fifth one. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Hey, people okay. loved, didn't he do Spy? There was Spy, Bridesmaids, Spy, Spy, the Spy, Heat. I like some of Paul Feig's other work. I mean, Freaks and Geeks is incredible. I mean, if you're going to do a female cast, this is the right female cast to do. My only concerns for this movie, for me, are just like the same concerns I have with any one of these comedies. Are we gonna actually keep things moving along and sort of, you know, moderate so that it works as a comedy but can still move as a movie instead of just being one long improv? Yeah. But the idea, I, I think, is cool. And and the action-y bits, like, the really Ghostbuster-y stuff in this trailer does excite me. I hope one thing this movie does is give us a damn good villain. Because even though Ghostbusters 2 wasn't as well received, the villain was still pretty scary. The mm -hmm. painting and all that, mm -hmm. that dude from whatever time century he was from. Yeah, he was scary. And then, you know, um, what's the quote from Ghostbusters 1? Oh, only Zool. Oh, there is no Dana, only Zool. Yeah. <laughs> there are a bunch of Easter eggs in this trailer, by the way. Because oh, yeah. Like Dana, when... Dana and uh, what's Rick Moranis' name? The, the gatekeeper guy? Yeah. Um, I forgot his name. There's like a, a, a little reference to both of those characters in one of the shots. There's a website hidden in this trailer. There's all kinds of stuff. Well, the shot with the three of them in the in the opening of the trailer and the ghost screaming at them mm -hmm. is homage to the beginning of the first Ghostbusters, except yeah. this ghost is like throwing up on them and stuff. Yeah. Because exactly. the slime thing is another homage to the Ghostbusters. It's honoring the same without. ghost world. I bet it's not just a reboot. I bet it's a sequel as mm -hmm. well. Uh, I think that was actually confirmed that it's also it's a sequel. It's the same. I, I think yeah. It's like it takes place on the same timeline, just farther into. It's the a sequel future. with different characters. Thirty Be years later. Because I think Dan Aykroyd or somebody is supposed to appear in this. Yeah. Like and I, and I the, the other reason I forgive this movie too is because I. Isn't Bill Murray the one who's like I'm not gonna do Ghostbusters three? <laughs> yeah. I know, but I don't feel like we need more Ghostbusters. I don't feel like we need it, but as long as we're getting it, I'd rather have something like this where it's like, oh, you're doing something marginally different, you know. You see, t people might not agree with me on this, but Ghostbusters is one of those classics where I'm like, shouldn't be touched. Yeah. I love Ghostbusters, but I don't, I don't necessarily agree with you. It's like The Godfather. The, no, it's not. It's like <laughs> Casablanca. It's not like that at all. It's, it's like uh, Citizen Kane. No. Like, I'd rather see a reboot of it's Pulp like Fiction than Ghostbusters. Really? Yeah, reboot. Really I'd rather see it. a reboot of Reservoir Dogs with an all-female cast <laughs> instead of Ghostbusters. I mean, not that we should just, like, for the sake of all-femaling everything do that, but hey, that could be cool. I don't know, just the idea seems gimmicky. I disagree in a way. Like, it is and it isn't, because I think, like, yeah, we should be able to have an all-female Ghostbusters and not have it be an issue, and it's become such an issue that, like... It is gimmicky only in the sense that, like, it's a bold move that people will react to. You're never not gonna have, at least in this version of society, you're never not gonna have people being like, What the fuck? All female Ghostbusters? What is this? I think it's, uh, 
a necessary step forward, and I hope that this movie is fun along with that. Two things I want to mention. Chris Hemsworth. Mm -hmm. I love seeing serious actors go into comedy roles like that. Granted, we don't know what it is he's doing necessarily. Here's yeah, the secretary. Either. Yeah, but we don't know exactly how his character portrayal yeah. is going to go down. We need certain qualities that I really feel need to be super strong here. We need the Ghostbusters to have great chemistry. Mm -hmm. We need them to be funny, and this movie also needs to be scary. I feel like this film totally has the potential to do all three. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm just superstitious, because something tells me I'm gonna be wrong in the end. I thought Spy looked like crap, and then I watched it and I was like, this is a great comedy. I don't think this looks like crap, I'm just, I just have concerns. I understand why yeah. you'd be worried. I mean, I'm, I'm worried for it too, but again, it's like, I'm not against the idea, I just hope that they execute it properly, because like I said, the worries I have are the same worries I have whenever I hear the name Paul Feig, or whenever I hear the name Melissa McCarthy. And, and I actually like what, her character looks like in this because she doesn't look like the same. Ah, she's fat and loud. Like she actually looks like a different character she calm. now. You know, she looks calmer. She's the scientist, right? Yeah, she looks like she's actually allowed to be a character instead of look. It's the funny fat chick who says outlandish things. Like, well, they're all filling in for the archetypes of what mm -hmm. they were in the first Ghostbusters. So they're just female versions. Kind of. Yeah. They even got Ernie Hudson back. Yeah, they got Ernie Hudson back. I, did they? They might have. I can't. I can't remember. I can't keep all the news in track. I don't know. I thought Ernie Hudson and Carl Weathers were the same person growing up for most of my life. Did you really? Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. Well, when Ernie Hudson died in Predator, it was a really sad day. Then I found out it was Carl Weathers. I didn't <laughs> care. <laughs> we'll still definitely be checking it out. This is just speculation. So when the movie comes out, I'll give you my honest opinion. And no, yeah, I don't go in with a closed mind. I go in ready to be moved and changed i'm willing to be subscribe today get rejected yeah you're not allowed to subscribe you're not allowed <laughs> just so that we can send you back an email it's like hey thanks hey, but no thanks thanks you are not allowed to be part of the subscription <laughs> service provided by youtube on the real rejects we, we control this, <laughs> this is our call jerry has a playlist on here called reasons to jerry featuring all the videos from said jerry yeah. and he has a podcast hosted with his buddy aaron called Dank Ass Stubbs. His buddy is his number two best friend. I'm his number one. And uh, shout out to right. Obesity. What? I think Obesity is always getting a bad rep these days. And I think we should be a little nicer to Obesity. Obesity has feelings too, people. They're not just swallowed. They have feelings. So don't insult people. Somewhere. Because of how heavy they are. Somewhere in there is a sentiment worth holding on to and I think it just needs a little more refining just a little more a couple more drafts and, and we can hop on board with that you know what my favorite moment in Ghostbusters yeah. 1 is what is that when the uh, creepy ghost blowjob how about you stop assuming and you just let me no I don't even want to tell you now no tell me please I want to tell you now please tell me camera's closed